You know, I sort of like the time limit in the first Pikmin, even though it was annoying. It had a, it made the game seem more intense. And I'll take the red ones and the bulbmen and go take the fiery ball back. And you can play with the greens and red or the whatevers and whatevers. Okay, good. I only have those two. Fiery Black Snore, you've met your match. I wasn't trying for no Pikmin deaths. And that's why they call me Fiery Black Snore. Okay. Doodly doo doo. Yes, he is corpse. You think that the fiery ball backs would be able to come back to life if the ball bears can? But no, ball bears have to be harder than anything else in the game, including a final boss. On the basis that final boss can't run around and kill your Pikmin when you're not paying attention to them at the landing site. They don't randomly spawn on some days that are some days. Why don't they just drop it in? Pikmin quit taking inefficient roads. Pathing is the same word as roads, right? What, 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 what? Where's the geezer? I'm calling it a geezer. I like it better than the word geyser. I don't want that get dead guy, it's not worth very much. Because things that aren't worth very much aren't worth very much. Don't! No! Stop, I hate you. You ruined our time bonus. We're gonna have a hundred more points from those seconds. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. I love how worthless the time bonus is. Because it's just one times the amount of time, whereas Pikmin and treasure bonuses are ten times the amount of treasure and Pikmin. Hothouse. This level is weird. Is this the one that is boring and you have to breed your Pikmin? Whoops, I described every level that isn't some level. Oh gosh, I don't like this level at all. Or wait, do I? I don't even know. I'm confused. What's this level? Okay, this is the level that I don't remember what it is. Oh, come on. No. Punch, 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 punch. Okay, toss them in some of these Queen Candy Pop buds. I love how I'm standing too far away for them to shake me off. There should be enemies that eat Pikmin sprouts, but then don't eat the regular Pikmin somehow. Whoops. That was better when I was punching. Whatever. Only one death. I mean, from that debacle. There we go. That's what I'm asking of. That's the same way of saying that's what I'm talking about, right? Yellows, you're so bad at being thrown. I swear they stole my bed sheets. The yellow Pikmin. That's their special power, elemental power of bed sheets. Are there any more Queen Candy Pop Buds? I sure am utilizing these sprays. I mean, the nectar is too complicated to maximize efficiency when there are multiple people controlling the Pikmin. It's one thing if there's you easy enough to 
just have all the Pikmin be controlled by one person and you know where all of them are, but that's another thing when not happens, and I still don't even recognize this level. Actually, I think they can sort of, to a small extent, randomly generate. I don't know if challenge mode does that, but I know some of the dungeons in this game randomly generate, and this might be among them. Quick on the draw, <laughs> Yeah, here, you can have the blues. Plus some bleed over. Oops, I still have more than you, but, um... Yeah, those sure are good on their own, right? Sure aren't useful as electric killers and not much else in this game. Or at least in this challenge mode where you don't have to be going up high very often. Why does pressurized water hurt you? Why does this Super Mario Sunshine? Ah, blah, 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 blah. Goodbye, watery blowhog. I love how watery blowhogs are in the second game and fiery blowhogs are in the first, except they're like ten times bigger in Pikmin 1. I think since you first went. Yeah, actually, since Olimar taught Pikmin how to fight for themselves in Pikmin 1, it's totally ruined the enemies. Now, Ballblaxes and Blowhogs are much smaller. Whoops, those are all yellow, right? Oh, they actually are, huh? Didn't see that coming. So, in Pikmin 3, what kind of colors do you think, guys? I, th I would be optimistic, but I have a secret for you. In the end of the Pikmin 1 trailer, there were different colors of onions. Do you think that there might be purple and white and black and lime green Pikmin in the next game? And yes, specifically lime green. None of this pansy off green stuff. And what's the point of having a clean candy pop butt on this level if it's the exit? I guess if you want to carry that, or if you somehow run out of yellows to de-electric stuff, or something. They should have made Olimar be able to punch out uh, uh, elemental hazards, and even though it would be horribly, um... No, not broken, it would just be horribly slow, but you would be able to, um, sequence break and play through the game with only red Pikmin or something. I know that isn't Red Pikmin favoritism, it just happens to be that the Red Pikmins are first. I like this viewpoint too much. You hold down R. I remember the time you taped down the button. Oh, that thingy. I thought you were saying, where's the thingy that makes you be on the control stick and change the camera? Okay, 61-33, that's not a bad score, I assume. They don't exactly give you par or anything. Brawny Abyss. I do not remember this level, hooray. Guess you have to water eat. I really don't remember too many levels, and this is one of the levels that randomly gives you blue Pikmin on the basis they don't have any powers of their own, right? Yeah, so I was always slightly butthurt that blue Pikmin are the only ones that are not 1.5 times attack or jumping or white or purple. No, they're immune to fire. I don't know. But that guy's not immune to rocks. It's always, like, sort of gut-wrenching when you don't successfully hit those guys. See all your Pikmin get crushed. And that was probably not the best way to do that. I am not doing very careful here. I have six left. 
punch, 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 But it, it had the key in it. It must have been a really hard enemy. Shh, don't tell anyone otherwise. That totally wasn't something I clearly by this point could have killed without Pikmin loss, considering I've already beaten this entire mode without Pikmin loss. Did I? Yes, I overshot the key with the, another leaf one instead of making it go faster like I wanted. That's great. No, I just didn't make the key go faster like I wanted. I clearly cannot be put in ownership of Pikmin. Is that underground? It looks like an underground light bulb instead of a screw. Yes. That's okay, now we have a hundred less marble points. 